Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. Today I want to share with you our last block for our block of the month called Primrose. We are working on block number tw 12 for our beautiful quilt. With this block I also would love to share with you how to put your blocks together, add a border and a binding and you are ready to quilt and have fun with your beautiful beautiful quilt. I am so excited for you. For everyone that have joined us for our block of the month for last eight months, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. You are amazing. For anyone that just wants to join us, guess what? We have beautiful kits for this beautiful project that it's right behind me. This quilt has been so much fun to make and I know you would enjoy it. The kits are pre-cut. We also have regular kits that you can go ahead and cut it yourself. You can get the pattern through our website at Laundry Basket Quilts. That's the Primrose pattern. But for now, for all my subscribers that have joined me every single month for last eight months and we have making all those beautiful uh, blocks, thank you so much. You are uh, so lucky because you getting those pre-cut kits in the packages. This is block number tw 12. Anybody that is uh, subscribing to our program, uh, for block of the month that are getting regular blocks, you'll be getting this beautiful package with all the fabrics to make the last block. And guess what? I saved the best for last. We're going to be making four different half square triangle units. There are such a cute little color combination. We're going to be making 12 of this one, four of this cutie, 28 and 24. So get your chain sewing ready and let's make some half square triangles. All your pieces are pre-cut. If they're not pre-cut because you're getting the regular kit, follow your pattern that you get with your block of the month and cut your pieces and join me for some sewing fun. We're gonna start by placing two half square triangles together. We place them right sides together just like this, match the beautiful points and we're gonna stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. Look, I finished one right here. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to push my seam allowance one direction just like this and I'm going to gently press it. Oh, isn't that cute? As soon as I finish pressing, I'm going to go ahead and take my little ruler, place it right over and check if my unit is three and a half by three and a half. If it is, perfect. If not, I'm going to go ahead and and trim it. I have one pressed with an iron right here. I This one I pressed it with my little tool but I want a little bit more pressing so I pressed it with an, uh, with an iron and now I'm gonna put my ruler right over. Oh this one is really nice and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I need to do any trimming. Not much at all. Look at this. I must have been a really good girl when I was stitching and I was paying attention to my beautiful quarter inch seam allowance. I hope you're doing the same thing. Once you trim your beautiful half square triangle unit, you are ready for more of them. And like I said, you're going to be doing all different color combinations and you're going to be creating a lot of those gorgeous units. There are going to be in different areas in a quilt. I have some of them right here. Look at there is this one that I showed you that you're only making four of them. Did you notice it? Isn't that nice? So go ahead complete all of them and once you finish guess what? It's time to put your quilt together and in your pattern you're gonna find a direction on how to lay out all of your blocks and you're gonna find this right after you finish block number 12. Look at this. You're gonna now go ahead and start laying out your blocks in the right places. 
um, you can follow this layout or you can follow the cover of the pattern for some of the color option but I think it's nice and easy you will recognize the units lay them out and once you have them laid out we're gonna move on to sewing them to uh, units and rows notice smaller squares just like this one of three and a half I have sewn together two larger units and rows and here I have some beautiful rows that I'm going to base my sewing right on it now once you sew into squares you're gonna notice how quickly things are coming together keep everything nicely organized check with your layout make sure that nothing rotate focus on units so notice right here on this page i'm showing you this first unit i sewed it together uh, this to this and this to this and now i sewed it together to this what it's six and a half inch unit now notice once you have your units done you keep going by combining all the rows adding the units and creating sections of your quilt keep going because now you have beautiful rows in your quilt look at how nice this worked out as soon as you have your rows you will sew your rows together and now your quilt is 60 and a half by 72 inches the next step you're going to need a border and in your kit or with your block of the month you're receiving two beautiful fabric this blue is going to be a border and you're gonna be cutting three and a half inch strips cut seven three and a half inch strips you're gonna take the strips and you're gonna sew them together into other sections uh, and then you section it to the right measurements and that's all in the first line of uh, simple borders right here on a page 11 once you have your borders made you're gonna add top bottom left and a right border and you are ready for quilting once you finish with backing bedding your beautiful quilt top you're gonna go ahead and need a binding you will cut your binding from this gorgeous fabric and now you're gonna finish your quilt with a beautiful binding and you are ready set go to enjoy it for my quilt i chose a very simple uh, baptist fan edge to edge design the quilt was quite busy so i want to calm things down with an overall edge to edge design and the baptist fan really emphasized that for me so that's what i chose for my quilt i hope you enjoyed our block of the month we sure were thrilled to have you and we can't wait to do another block of the month with you so stay tuned make sure you remember to give us thumbs up for our beautiful videos then share the videos with your friends so you're not quilting by yourself you're creating beautiful quilting community and go ahead visit our website for anything that you need thank you and happy quilting guys mm -hmm.